Hey everyone, I'm Chelsea Tornetto with At Home Author, and today I'm here to beg you, please, please get your manuscript edited before you start illustrations. Please. Before we get started, make sure you hit like and subscribe so we can share lots of great information about publishing children's books. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is take a look at this timeline. Notice that editing comes before illustrations. And this is a mistake that so many authors make. They get these two flip-flopped. And I understand because illustrations are the fun part about writing a children's book. You wanna see those beautiful pictures bring your story to life. But it's a big mistake and it can cost you lots of time and lots of money. So let's talk about why. The first thing you have to understand is that editing is so much more than just punctuation and spelling mistakes. It's much bigger than that. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out the video link posted in the description below to tell you about the four types of editing that every manuscript needs. And the first type is called developmental editing and developmental editing covers big picture things. It makes big changes happen in your story, or at least it should if it's being done correctly. So. Just for an example, I am a developmental editor and I have had many, many clients over the years who have made changes to their manuscript based on my feedback. And some of actual changes that clients have made, they have added a whole new conflict to their story when there wasn't one to begin with. I have had uh, clients who have changed human characters into animal characters to make their story better. I have had clients who have decided to go from a single main character to a group of friends as their main character. I have had clients change the setting of their story completely. Now imagine that you already have paid thousands of dollars for illustrations when you realize you need to make those kinds of changes. You're going to end up paying for redoing all of those illustrations and it's going to cost you time and money. So it's super important that you do the developmental editing first so that you can make those big changes to the manuscript before you invest in the illustrations. Okay, so then you might say, okay, well then as soon as developmental editing is done, I'll go ahead and get started on my illustrations. But here's the problem with that. Even at the line level, changes can be made that will impact how you illustrate the story. So just for an example, I once had a client who had a really solid story, developmental editing was finished, but on the line level, we were still playing around with a few things. And so there was one point in the story where she really wanted to build tension up to a big reveal. And so we ended up adding um, just a few words where the character was counting and it said three, two, one, and then we intended for the next page to be a double spread with that big reveal on it. If we hadn't had that figured out before she hired an illustrator, before she paid for all those illustrations to be done, we would have had to redo not just that one spread, but because that became a double spread that took up two pages and that impacted all of her page turns for the rest of the manuscript. So it's so, so important even to have your line level edits done before you hand your story off to that illustrator. And the final reason that you really want to make sure editing is done first is that if you hand your illustrator a fully edited, finalized manuscript, it will allow them to make sure that they leave enough room on each page for the words to be there. Illustrators, um, part of their job is to make sure there's enough empty space for the text to fit into that illustration well. And they really have a hard time doing that if you as the author don't have that story finalized and kind of a vision in mind. Um, storyboarding is something that helps a lot with that. So after you've got a finalized, fully edited manuscript, you can storyboard it out and put those page breaks in and then the illustrator knows how much space they need to leave. That helps you to avoid it down the road coming to a point where you're having to squeeze in too many words into a small space or you have way too much empty space and not enough words to fill it. It really kills me as an editor when someone brings me a manuscript that's already illustrated and they want me to try to help them make it better because there's only so much you can do when the illustrations are finalized and already there. So make sure that you get your editing done first. So save your editor and your illustrator lots of headaches, save yourself time and money, make sure that you have your editing fully complete before you move on to illustrations. If you need an editor and not sure where to start with that, we have a list of recommended editors. I'll pop that in the description below.